So, the, t the ring is ready. Fixed up by Vados and Wiss. Chomp and Beerus, you know, still being assholes as brothers, you know, still hating each other, arguing with each other. You know, not sure what terms, you know, still, like I said, brothers will always be brothers, and especially those two. Bull Mike, you know, always like Bull Mike, you know, like, you know, fixing up, you know, Vegeta and everything, you know, even if Vegeta doesn't like that. Even if Vegeta, you know, doesn't like, you know, when Bulma is kind with her, he's kind with him, sorry, he's kind with him, trying, like, you know, like, to cure him and everything, you know, nah. Vegeta doesn't like that, you know, he always, like, looks like straight-up, cold-blooded, you know, bastard, like, always, you know, but this episode was actually very special, because, like I said, the main, the small parts of this episode were, like I said, Valos and Whis fixed up the ring, and he's much more bigger this time. Champa and Beerus, you know, being the same shithead brothers, you know, good, like, brothers, like, always, you know, like, arguing with each other, you know, yelling at each other, hating each other, you know, blah, 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 you know, what usually, what usually, usually, usually things with brothers do. Booma being, like, the same, like, protective wife, you know, like, you know, taking care of Vegeta, you know, and everything, you know, even if Vegeta doesn't like that, you know, Vegeta hates that, like, always, like he did with Dragon Ball, Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT, you know, like, he always hates that, being straight up cold, blind bastard, like, always. Goku, all the all the time when the bell was going, when the bell was going on and everything, all the time he was concentrate on hit the legendary universe six, uh, you know, assassin. What his powers are gonna be, you know, like the uh, how he fights and everything. You know, in, in the short terms, his mind, his mind, his nerve, his brain was set up for him because he wants to see what kind of a fighter he is. You know, with all being said, all things pushed back, all this pushed away. Entire episode was more like a training episode than a battle one, because okay, it started as a battle between Vegeta and Kaba. Kaba, the same from Universe Six, the planet Saddle, which actually in Universe Seven was the first home planet of the Sands before he was destroyed. You know, so overall the match style, like I said, uh, between Vegeta and Kaba, and I have to say this uh, this episode Vegeta pretty surprised me. He really surprised me, you know? So, he started the fight. They find each other, you know, and Vegeta became, like, so much, you know, impressed with him. With his speed, with his strength, you know, with, like, the same energy. Like, with the same energy, you know, and uh, pose as the Saiyans, even. And also, Vegeta does, you know, with that, uh, with a cable gun, uh, with a laser gun, whatever it was called, you know? He was, you know, was, overall, like I said, Vegeta was impressive with his, uh, with his, Fighting, fighting skills and everything. Until one time, Cap when Vegeta said, "Like, oh, okay, this fight is gonna be pretty easy. Come on, come on, you kid, turn yourself into Super Saiyan, you know, so we can like, you know, the, get in the battle, get in this battle, pretty interesting, pretty damn interesting, you know." And Kaba said, "Like, mm, I cannot do that. Please, you know, please, Vegeta, please, Vegeta, son, please, I want you to teach me. I want you to train me. I want you to be your apprentice. Learn me the, the power." The Saiyan of the Saiyans. He said using Dark Side of the Force, just say Super, just say Saiyan. Learn the power of the Super Saiyans. It works out. <laughs> well, you know, so, <laughs> I mean, you get it here, okay? That's one, and also, you know, like, if Kama was baying for him, like, you know, to transform the Super Saiyan and everything, which actually made Vegeta piss, you know, piss him off, you know, because, like, you know, no, that's, you know, like, that's not the fucking way that the Saiyans do. Begging and everything, you know, like, mm, yeah, those things would have pissed, you know, pisses me off and everything because after all, he is a prince. Even if he, even if he, even he has so much hard head, hard head asshole he is, he always, even he, he, he is a prince and he always cares for his people, for the Saiyans, you know. That's why, you know, all the time what the, the GAD was trying, like, to piss him off, you know, like, when he said that he, he's, uh, when he transformed into Super Saiyan and being the crap out. Uh, Kaba and also launch him up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, just like a like a ball, just you know, just up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, you know, just like a ball, you know, because even Yamcha and Bulma were wondering, you know, what the hell happened to Vegeta? Yamcha was saying like, is, is Vegeta turning, you know, evil again and everything? You know, like, oh, hmm, it's pretty serious, everything. Uh, what, 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 what we gonna expect, you know? And all the time. 
Obviously said, I'm gonna destroy Planet Saddle. I'm gonna destroy and kill your family, you know, after I'm done with you and everything. You know, even if Be even if Vegeta already knows that if he kills him, he's gonna be disqualified, you know? And after he said those things, Kaba finally showed his true colors, transforming to Puff into Super Puff into Super Saiyan, and he said, Don't put Planet Cell, you know, in this fight. Don't you not you will not let a finger Planet Cell, you will not play a finger on my family. And I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. And I'm gonna just, like I said, beat the crap out of you. Beat the crap out of you and I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. You know? And he, all the time he did, you know, you like trying to find, you know, you know, like raging you know, like raging blasts, you know, it was hella raging blasts and everything, you know, and all the time and like, you know, you you feel like Vegeta like, uh oh, I mean, like, oh, 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 oh no, I'm screwed up, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose and everything, because, like, you know, he's really being the crowd at him, until Vegeta showed his true colors, and all the time what he was doing was training him, trying, you know, to, right, trying to make his anger rise up and reveal himself, because the main part of being a Super Saiyan is anger, that's the main, <laughs> that's the main, uh, yeah, that's the main part of, of the transformation, you know, and when Bo and both of them were transform, uh, tra transform and everything, fighting with each other, you know, all the time and everything, you know, the fight just, you know, with Super uh, Vegeta just transformed into Super Saiyan Blue, trying like to tell me like, you know, when you train yourself, become so much stronger and uh, try to control the power of your Super Saiyan. One day, if you train yourself hard, you're gonna be exactly the same level of dude as I am, Super Blue, Super Saiyan Blue, you know, and he was like, and the couple was. Totally amazing you know, by the power and everything, and then Vegeta just knocked him out, just like with one blow, you know. And in, 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 the, in the last words that he said, "Man, you know, like the Spain, don't ever forget." It was really wow, you know, because at some point, you know, Vegeta can be an asshole, but this episode was really, actually, really touching, you know. Because you know, like when he like win the win the bell and everything, and Kaba just fainted out, fainted out, and er and all that kind of stuff. You know, and when you know, and when like you know, he picked up you know this jug of water, dropped it on his face, trying to wake him up and everything. You know, and when Kaba was you know, trying to like to you know bow down and say like, thank you very much and everything. You know, you know, Vegeta said no, don't you ever fucking bow to me because that is not the Super Saiyan way. It's not the same way because if you bow to an enemy, that also means not only uh, giving up, but also that you have failed, and that is not what Vegeta is not is not is not tolerate. No, he is not. So he told, and so and then and then and then the one more crazy thing happened when Vegeta told him like, "You better surpass me. Just surpass me." And Kaba and was you know Kaba was really crying you know like because of happiness because like Vegeta you know like you know Vegeta like being to, uh, some kind of odd mentor to him you know like trying to train him through, like uh, reviving or should I say uh, reviving like his true power you know as a Super Saiyan and everything it was pretty amazing it was pretty amazing overall like I said the episode was overall very uh, you know very simple. Very simple, but seeing like Kaba in action and seeing his fighting skills and in Super Saiyan power, which I probably can say is motherfucking amazing and badass epic. You know, in the way how he fights, his energy, his powers, you know, his speed. Pretty amazing. Pretty fucking amazing, you know. And of course, the fight after Kaba was defeated, who ends up in the battle? The last, the last fighter. Hit the legendary assassin of Universe Six, which just like we saw in the last episode, which also explains why he knocked out Frost. You know, because Frost in the last episode he wanted to take like the cube. He wanted to take the cube that Vios in this episode explained that he offered Kit if he wants to join the tournament. He's he, she's offered she offered him the cube that is the like God vehicle like Champa said. You know, uh, to trans to teleport himself. You know, wherever they want. You know. And of course, you know, and this time, if he wins, he's gonna have the cube. And uh, that was actually an entire episode. Overall, it was an entire episode, and overall, like I said, it was simple, but it was very touching, very amusing. The fight was good, the, anima the animation was pretty good, and the relationship between Vegeta and Kaba, you know, like the, some kind of weird training session and everything, you know, trying to revive his super. 
the power of the Super Saiyan. You know, it was pretty, you know, like I said, it was pretty amazing, pretty cool, and I actually, fair enough, I never actually see Vegeta, you know, act, you know, somehow, act definitely like that way, you know, because, I mean, there were scenes, you know, in the old rambles, you know, that when he was, like, kind, you know, and kind and everything, but being like that, that actually is the first time I've actually seen him here, you know. That's, you know, that's how I, I mean, it's so kind of everything, you know, like, caring for the Saiyans, you know, or, or, you know, what you know what I'm talking about, you know. So, all of like I said, basically, the episode was good, mostly good because of the fight and the ending, but overall, the other, th the other thing is very simple. Next, so, here I am, done. Read the video, comment, subscribe, and post exam, what you personally think about this battle, what you personally think about Kaba, about his, you know, fighting skills, about his powers, the Super Saiyan, about, you know, the Vegeta, uh, Vegeta training him, you know, uh, trying to be much more stronger, 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 like him and everything. What are you going to, what you, what you are going to, what do you expect for the next fight uh, between Vegeta and Hit? What do you think uh, the powers of Hit are and everything? Drop a like, and appreciate that peace, everyone, like always, have an awesome rest of the day. Laurel Shows, like always, signing off, see you next time. Wow!